Sometimes manual focus is just a better choice than autofocus. But how do you focus manually in a pinch, quick and accurate, without holding the camera in front of your face? Use a technique called zone focusing. One use example for zone focus is street photography. You want to be discreet, but you also want to make sure that you're focused where you want to focus. This technique can be used with the camera down at your hip. And then it's also just a good way to check that your manual focus is set where it should be for the rest of the time. First, set your depth of field scale to film format basis. This is in the AF-MF setting menu. Film format basis will give you a larger depth of field scale, which will indicate where you will have acceptable sharpness in photos viewed full size on digital displays and in prints. Pixel basis is for the pixel peepers who always view their images at 100% zoom, but you're the only one who looks at your images that way, no one else does, so choose film format basis to use this technique. You also want to ensure that the focus scale is on the screen, so go into your screen setting menu, display custom setting, and make sure there's a check mark next to MF distance indicator. You'll also set this to either meters or feet in focus scale units, also in the screen setting menu. Then in manual focus, rotate the focus ring until your subject's estimated distance is within that blue bar, your depth of field. This technique works better with a wider focal length and smaller aperture, both of which will give you a larger blue bar. Watch as I zoom in. The depth of field shrinks, and as I zoom out, it expands again. When I stop down to a small aperture, it expands, and as I open the aperture back up, it shrinks. When I both zoom in and use a large aperture, that blue bar, my depth of field, is tiny. This makes this technique very difficult to use since it's all based on estimating your subject's distance. So to give you the largest margin of error, zoom out and or stop down until that blue bar is big enough. I estimate this car to be from about 8 to 18 feet from me front to back. If I put the blue bar in front of my estimated distance, everything in front of the car is in focus and the rest of it is blurry. If I put the blue bar behind my estimated distance, everything in front is blurry and everything beyond the back of the car is sharp. With an aperture of f5.6, I rotate that ring until the blue bar covers that estimated range. The resulting photo is sharp where I wanted it to be sharp. It does take some practice, but it's certainly a technique that you should have in your toolbox. Please leave any questions or comments below, and be sure to follow the channel for more photography tips like this, and I'll see you next time.